Hi, I'm Chris Johnston. I'm the president of Sierra Olympia Technologies. In this tech talk, we're going to talk about our HD Midwave products. Now, we call all of our cooled products Ventus, and our HD products are going to be called uh, Ventus HD. We're going to be talking about the sensor. That'll be part one of the Ventus HD series. In part two, we'll have another tech talk describing all the optics that we've designed specifically for this sensor and the system approach we take to solve customers' problems with integrated cameras as components. The sensor behind the Ventus HD is the HexaBlue. HexaBlue is from DRS Infrared. DRS Infrared is an American manufacturer, an established American manufacturer of mid-wave technology. They've been working on this sensor for four years. Um, DRS is well known in the mercury cadmium telluride business and they're, they're unquestioned in the quality of their coolers that they develop uh, for these systems. Um, the sensor is a 1280 by 960 by 6 micron infrared focal plane. The 6 micron is the first commercially available small mid-wave pixel. It supports fast frame rates up to 120 hertz. Uh, the integration mode is integrate while read. It's a high operating temperature mid-wave sensor, hot mid-wave sensor. It actually op operates at 140 Kelvin. Uh, very high sensitivity. Uh, it has very high quantum efficiency. The sensor is based upon DRS's HD VIP technology. HD VIP stands for High Density Vertically Integrated Photo Detector. This is a graph of the modeled ideal detector. And you can see on the graph, the solid black line is the perfect sensor, the perfect six micron sensor. The dotted blue line is what we would expect with the HD VIP ar architecture and the pixel spacing uh, and the size of the diodes, the collection region of the diodes. And then the orange triangles are the actual measured results. And what we see is that the measured results are almost overlaying the modeled HP HD VIP detector. So excellent. MTF performance at the sensor. That's a, that's a powerful characteristic of this sensor. Now, if you've been in the infrared business, you know that the greatest strain on a cooler is the cool down cycle, going from ambient temperature down to the operating temperature of 140 Kelvin. 300 Kelvin to 140 Kelvin. Now, in the lifetime in the burn-in cycle that DRS puts these through, there's three power cycles per 72-hour diurnal cycle. And there's temperature changes as well. There's cold, intermediate, and hot. So these coolers have been through three years of daily power cycles, daily temperature cycles. And again, no indication of wear. That's more strain on a cooler than you will find in any operational condition. Nothing can match the proven long life of the DRS Hexablue. So just in summary, I want to touch on some of the uh, features of the electronics. The electronics are very efficient, very powerful. There's a non-uniformity and bad pixel replacement algorithm on board. The digital output is LVDS 14 bits. Um, and uh, you have a UART to control everything and very efficient um, uh, power supplies. You need five volts for the electronics and 14 volts for the uh, cooler. And that's it. So it's very efficient. Now, again, that's at the hexablue. We make it even simpler when we uh, put it into a Ventus HD. So there you have it. The sensor behind the Ventus HD, the DRS uh, Hexablue. Why did we pick the Hexablue for the Ventus HD? Well, number one, six micron pixels. We've always believed in smaller pixels. Smaller pixels uh, deliver a lot of range performance. That's published in the literature as well. There's no disputing the cooler life issue. 
we have customers that tell us all the time we need better cooler life. Hexablue delivers. Everything about the product is the top of the industry. And what we believe is that we combine the best sensors and the best optics to create the best system. Now, we've designed a family of optics around that. We're gonna talk about that in part two of our Tech Talk. My name's Chris, I'm with Sierra Olympia. Thanks for watching.